Good morning. Welcome. Kevin here. Today, we're at the Clark County Shooting Complex. Now, this place is absolutely amazing. It's one of those, it's probably, I think it's one of the largest uh, county-owned shooting ranges. And they've got pistols, they've got guns, uh, they've got archery. As far as I know, I heard there was archery out here. It's going to be an amazing journey. It's going to be a helpful journey. So come along. We're going to see what we can find out about the Clark County shooting complex. Stick with me. So this place is actually quite expansive. I mean, this has a huge amount of land. We're in north part of Las Vegas. I think we're actually in north Las Vegas, uh, the community. So yeah, we're way out here. We're actually, uh, you can see behind me, you have mountains. And then in front of me, again, I'm starting at the uh, park office. You can see they have quite a bit of stuff out here. No, and it just keeps going. It's just expansive out here. So in the background, I don't know if you can see it out there, but there's an RV park out here. So, and it's almost completely full. So there's a ton of RVs here. And then in the background, you can see the, uh, you can see how expansive, you can see way out there, uh, the shooting ranges. So stick with me. So we're actually back in the car and we're gonna start heading over to the ranges. So I just wanted to give you a little background that I know about the uh, Clark County shooting complex is that I believe it's one of the largest county owned uh, complexes in the United States. It sure is uh, land-wise probably one of the biggest, and they've got so many offerings as far as uh, the shooting shooting facilities. So this is a really cool place. We're again we're in the north part of Las Vegas off of Decatur, and today's Saturday, so it's probably going to be busy out here. The road leading up to the the various shooting facilities are just the steady stream of cars coming from this area and going to. So it looks like a lot of people got an early start. So you're getting a lot of, uh, you're getting a lot of pickups coming out of here. Uh, in fact, that's all I see is pickups coming out of this area. So I don't know if that's because they're staying at the RV park uh, or what the deal is, but I, I mean, just a steady stream of pickups leaving this area. So people who own pickups, like to shoot guns. So now a little background on myself. I don't believe in owning firearms myself. Now that's just me. I only uh, like, I love to shoot. When I was in the United States Army, I shot all kinds of weapons, M16. I was on a crew, a uh, three-man crew that uh, we shot the uh, 50 caliber machine gun. I was the shooter, yay. Uh, I absolutely love shooting. Uh, I threw hand grenades. I shot anti-tank anti uh, weapons. Uh, I don't know if I said it, but hand grenades, uh, you name it. We, in the Army, you get to uh, shoot a lot of and play with a lot of weapons. Uh, one of the most fun was I, were, I was in a combat engineering battalion at Texas Tech uh, reserves, and we would go and fire off a lot of the old, uh, you know, marked for disposal, and we get to go out and shoot machine guns, uh, throw hand grenades, uh, claymore mines, uh, C4, and the whole nine yards. So, uh, yeah, I've had a I've had a journey with a lot of weapons in my life. I just don't want to own them. Uh, you know, I had. I had children in the house. I just didn't feel like having weapons in the house. Anytime anybody says, hey, Kevin, let's go and shoot a gun. I'm, I'm one of the first ones to say, absolutely, let's go. And I'll teach you how to, because uh, I was actually a uh, marksman in the uh, army as well. I can shoot really well. So uh, let's go, let's go check out the rest of the facility and stick with me. All right, so we're actually leaving the park office and we're gonna start heading over to the, uh, some of the facilities. So right here, you can just see cars coming and going uh, left and right. We just left the, uh, the flag and the aliens and the sign. There's actually a booth here with nobody in it. 
on the left you can see that there's a ton of RVs out here so they they have an RV park out here uh, and I guess a lot of avid shooters come out here uh, and meet yeah we're just gonna stick on this road uh, see where it leads us we're gonna go over here with the uh, where the RVs are uh, we're approaching I guess this is the second roundabout and this sign this sign actually says Archery Center, Shotgun Center, Rifle Pistol Center, and Education Center. I think we want to head up to the ed Education Center first and kind of get a lay of the land. Uh, that's what I'm interested in. I want to, you know, talk to them and then we'll just do a quick uh, viewing of some of the other facilities out here. So let's go out to the Education Center. As you can see, we are really close to the mountains in North Las Vegas. So this says Sporting Clays Course Upper Parking Lot. Let's, let's check it out while we're here. So this is Sporting Clay Course Parking Area Shotgun Only. So we're up here uh, by the clay shooting. Uh, so, you know, Sporting, you use a shotgun to, uh, they throw out a projectile, usually a clay round puck and shoot it out of uh, you know, shoot it out of a machine, and when it gets to a certain height or whatever, you try to shoot it, and that's what uh, that's what that's all about. So back there is where we were. Uh, this is pretty much all over here RV parking. You can hear everybody. You can hear the pops of guns going off, and we're there's some uh, actual workers. That I think they're filling the machines. Uh, so this is the clay and sport uh, clay clay shooting area there's actually uh, right here at the clay shooting area there's actually bathrooms so men and women uh, bathrooms so got good facilities out here so we're actually out at the the shooting complex we're a little bit higher we're heading to the education center but I wanted to give you this amazing amazing view of where I'm standing so this is all Las Vegas in the background is Mount Charleston. And then as you can see, there's still a lot of snow. And then you've got uh, snow on some of the other mountains, but look at Las Vegas. You can even see the strip in the background. All right, so we're actually at the Education Center. We're gonna go in in just a minute. But you can see there's a lot of rifle and pistol shooting out here. Uh, pretty cool place. You can see a lot of people gathering, a lot of education. Uh, so this is the place to come if you want some education on shooting. some of the shooting right out here rifle he's got a he's got a rifle i think there was a handguns and they're shooting the targets out there so they got the red flag out today i'm assuming that's because it's pretty dang windy outside so i'm assuming that's what that stands for so we're out at the education center um there's really not anything that i thought it was going to be i thought they would it's mostly all classrooms. In fact, there's only one large classroom, some bathrooms, and I think that's really it. I was thinking there was going to be a place to, you know, buy uh, accessories and things for your guns, earplugs, and all that kind of stuff. But uh, no, it's just uh, classrooms. It's the, it's what it says, education center. So these guys were all gathered around talking and stuff, and you know, I guess it's part of an education but they've all gone to their individual places and now they're about to shoot, so let's watch. <laughs> awesome, right? Awesome, love, love shooting, so much fun. Again, we're still back at the archery range, uh, the education center and these guys are shooting. Yeah, you can see there's nothing but pickups uh, in this parking lot. We're, we're still at the Education Center. We're about to leave and go see some of the other areas, but 
uh, yeah, it kind of reminds me of where I grew up in Clovis, New Mexico, and Lubbock, Texas. Uh, you know, most of these shooting ranges, that's all you see is pickups. So I feel like I'm at home. So we're at one of the ranges that's just past the education center. And we're, there's the range control right there. Well, what we called in the Army range, uh, range officers. And then right here is another building. Let's go inside and see what that is. Welcome to Clark County Shooting Park, Rifle and Pistol Center, Pro Shop Snack Bar. Oh, here we are. 60 position rifle range out to 200 yards. Education Center, 50 yard range, 100 yard range, 90 meter archery range. Shotgun Center, Archery Center. Oh, there we go. So you got the rifle and rifle and pistol, then education center, that's where we came from. Then you take the road back down, there's the shotgun center, archery center, and we want to go to the archery center. So they were voted best of Las Vegas uh, for best shooting range. So this place has like a snack center, and this is kind of like a pro shop. So, and then it's got restrooms. So that's about it. All right, so we're at, there's range control. And then it just goes down, way down. You can see from there, all the way down there. So this is a, this is an incredibly uh, professional spot. I can see a lot of, I can see a lot of guns, or not guns, <laughs> I can see a lot of guns. I can see a lot of rifles over here. Some of the guys, you know, getting their targets ready. There's some more, looks like classes out there. They have, they have people that are actually staffed here as, as range officers. So uh, this is pretty cool. Out in the distance, you still see Mount Charleston. You see the red flag flying over there and the parking lot is semi full. So there's a lot of people out here. Uh, again, this is the pro shop. All shooters must not stay behind the red firing line. You must be running down range at all times. Case and uncased, both shooting on all tier firearms. Shooting tickles only, keeping the muzzles running down range. So we're going to go try to find the archery range. That's what uh, I'm interested. We've seen uh, two great places to shoot uh, your weapons and things out here. So we're going to go see if I can find the archery range. That's what I'm mostly interested in. So stick with me. So I have no idea what I'm coming up on. Uh, I do see a lot of oh, the archery range. Yes, gold. And I think this must be more maintenance over here. And then over here, there's there's some more vehicles that I guess you can rent out here. I, I can't tell. But more shooting range. Uh, archery is down here. Let's go check out the uh, the RV situation. Looks looks pretty nice. So let's go down here and see what that's all about. Out here you can see more, more range control uh, facilities. And these are all of the uh, RVs. So people, you can come out here. It doesn't look like it looks like there's electricity, but I can't tell if there, oh yeah, there are hookups out here. So there are hookups. It's not just dry camping. Um, see the hookups. And you've got more, more RVs. So RVs galore. Come out here if you want to uh, hang out, wake up, wake up in the middle of the morning and just go out and shoot your gun. Now, there might be hours. I haven't seen the hours out here, uh, but, but uh, yeah, just imagine it's probably, you know, like six in the morning to 10 at night. I don't know. So this is the actual shotgun center. Uh, this is where I think they have a, you know, an education center. They also have uh, a place that you can, you know, buy some 
some stuff, you know, earplugs and that kind of thing. So targets. Uh, so this is the shotgun center. We're coming in to the, you can see welcome shooters trap 12th through the 13th skeet 19th. We have a nice little picnic area over here. It's like a place for smoking. So this is really a, a nice facility. I see baby. Is this for babies? I guess it is. But this is the uh, this is the shooting center right here. I came in actually to use the bathroom. So this is the, this is the shooting center. Yeah. I have a big meeting room in there. Speed limit 25, please present archery attendant with punch card or receipt purchased from the shotgun center. All right, so we're coming up, I guess, on the archery center. This one doesn't have like a building or anything, so they don't really show archery people the love like they did for the, for the guns. You can see over there that it says archery. I don't know if they show the, the same love to the archery people as they do the gun people. There's not really a whole lot of people out here, uh, but I would expect it's a, it's a really fun place to come out here and, and, and with your bow and arrow. So this is it. This is the facilities. I'm gonna go ahead and get down and kind of look. Doesn't look like anybody's really look like anybody's really out here so let's go check it out stick with me so we're coming up on the archery facility they do have uh, somebody positioned as a you know a range control range officer so this is kind of it there's a nice uh, covering so you can have your picnic out here and then there's targets and of course there's a Clark County pickup going to be a pickup. Stick with me. So the one thing I noticed when I first drove up on the archery range is they didn't give it as much love as they did all the other pistol well, that's rifle. Yeah, is it? Are you guys? We, we got a building coming in, an indoor range, and a bunch of other stuff happening to the range. Oh, very cool. Uh, approval for that. Um, it just took some time. But COVID put a pig damper on oh, a lot of stuff. Oh, on everything. Yeah. So I'm a uh, ex army, so I shot a lot of weapons and things like that. Yes, sir. And so I was kind of fam obviously familiar. I wanted to come out and see what you uh, have out here. So what makes the archery range out here better than you know going out in the desert and just shooting? Well, safety is paramount for us. So I would say staff is the reason. We're all knowledgeable, friendly, make sure everybody's safe um, versus being out in the desert. Rounds or arrows can come from any direction, and you kind of got to watch your back. Sometimes you're trying to shoot targets, so that doesn't work out. Yeah. So you come out here, and everybody's trained properly, and all the safety. So I mean, that's why I feel. Plus, I'm here, so I think that makes it better. Oh, absolutely! Yeah, that's amazing. But so to come out here and uh, shoot your bow and arrow, what what do you do? You need any kind of qualifications or anything like that? Yeah, or? So you would just stop up at the uh, um, shotgun center up top. Where uh -huh. Pass coming down. Yeah. Um, you would watch a short video that gives you the card and authorization to shoot down here. Uh -huh. And then the main thing is just when you're down here, you just listen to what the RSOs have to say. Oh, nice. And then shoot. And we do, uh, it's not really time limited like it is up at Rifle Pistol. Uh -huh. It's kind of at your leisure. Right. If there's a bunch of shooters. We try to narrow it down to five or six arrows out there when gets an opportunity to shoot. Sure. If you're by yourself, you can unload your whole quiver into the target and just kind of go as you please. Yeah, now in the Army, we, I always call them range officers or range control. What What is your title? Uh, I'm a range master, uh, range safety officer, and the assistant supervisor down here. Oh, very cool. So you're you're the man to talk to for sure. I believe so. How long have you worked out here? Uh, it's going on three years. Oh, very cool. So, And how long has the facility been out here? I believe since early 2000s. Yeah, I, I knew it was out here. I just never came out here. Um, so yeah, this is actually a, a really cool place for shooters of any kind, shotguns. You know, I noticed there was uh, clay shooting up uh, just off here. Squirting clays and uh, trap shooting up top. And 
then, like you said, on the very top of the hill, we have rifle and pistol. Yeah. Um, we do not limit to what kind of rifle and pistol anybody brings up here. Right. Uh, we're not ATF, so we're not going to question you if you have an automatic rifle. Right. As long as rounds are downrange, that's all we care about. Oh, very cool. So, now, like I said, I did notice that, you know, the other facilities kind of, are you, is this facility that they're about to build, will it have like a pro shop? Oh, we're hoping. Uh, as of right now, it's just going to be uh, a building for check-in um, to go to the register and uh, for us to take care of our business down here because we rent bows and arrows here too. Oh, you do here just in like this at, in this yes, building. Yes, sir. So just like at shotgun, we rent shotguns, and up on the hill, we rent rifles and pistols. So we rent bows. We have Genesis, Recurve, and Compound for rent. Uh, once we get our building, it's going to be a lot better set up. And right. Everything. So I know to shoot uh, your bow and arrow out here, you need to see the video, yes, and then uh, you get a card. You said you get a yellow card showing that you've. Um, Watch the video uh -huh. for the range safety for archery. Yeah. You can use the same card to get a stamp for shotgun and then for rifle and pistol. Oh, okay. So it's all one card. Yes. Oh, very so cool. That way it shows that you've been through the safety videos of each yeah. field. Right. And that way you're covered on that and you just pay your range fees. Come on down and we'll let you shoot. Now you're just assuming that everybody out here has purchased their firearm legally, correct? Well, that's not our job to... Yeah, exactly. To that's that's what I was curious right. about, too. What you don't distinguish. You're just, again, you're making sure that everybody shoots downrange and, and sticks it. with the rules. That's it. And the only thing that we harp on is if they smell alcohol or if they smell drugs, we don't want you shooting on the range because that's not safe. Uh -huh. And like I so said, we have oh children God. here and adults. And the, the, the safety is paramount when right. it comes to the range. Right. Man, I really appreciate you talking with me on Absolutely. about this. And uh, I think it gives people a better awareness of what all's out here. Uh, I just want to make sure that people know it's out here, safe place to, you know, when I, I bought a BB gun for my daughter, we went out into the middle of the desert and I was thinking, do you have a uh, any kind of pellet gun or BB gun type facility here? So you can actually shoot those up at rifle pistol. Oh, you can? Yeah. Oh, very cool. So that we even allow crossbows down here, but you have to bring your own foam target. Oh, okay. Because uh, with our compressed um, carpet as our targets here, right. that will just bore right in and you'll never get it back out. Right, so if you're shooting, I didn't notice, are there 3D targets out here? Yes, sir, so we have a short 3D course here as for the walking and stuff. Okay. Retrieving your arrows, so it's a nice little walk. It's got a path on it and everything. Right. Wow, this place is amazing, and I really appreciate your time. Thank, Thank you, you so sir. much. All right, it's really windy and cold out here. Uh, you got one shooter, he's shooting, a, he's shooting a compound bow. And then you've got, look at these cool little targets and stuff. And you can bring, like he said, you can bring 3D uh, targets out here. Man, he was a wealth of information. I would love to just chat with him all day. Uh, yeah, he's about to shoot. All right, so that pretty much concludes uh, the time I'm gonna spend out here at the range. Just so you know, uh, there's shooting of every kind out here. And what I like, uh, because I do like archery, is the fact that they are going to build a facility for the people who do like archery. I think it was kind of almost like the, the stepchildren out here, but they are gonna improve that. So that's a, that's a good thing. So uh, thank you for joining me on this vlog. Uh, it's been fun and I appreciate you sticking with me. And it has been an amazing journey, a helpful journey. So talk to you soon. Bye-bye.